Welcome to this quick overview of Mangold Intract. With Intract, videos can be content coded or rated, and many statistical evaluations can be carried out. With Intract, you can open and evaluate as many videos as you wish. All videos remain synchronized. Now, when I open the same video a couple of times here, then uh, you see when I play the videos, they remain synchronized. When I move quickly through the videos, you also see that they all, they all show the same image now. This is very important because if you uh, film your scenario with different cameras from different angles and you want to analyze those videos later, then you need to make sure you have a tool that really keeps everything in sync, even if you move the video frame by frame, as you can see here. It's also very handy to have an, uh, an audio chart. Let me show you this here, because the audio chart allows you to see um, all the the audio activities in the video. This is interesting, for example, if you do autism studies and you have, for example, a um, child that is not saying anything throughout one hour and then suddenly the child says a few words, then by looking at the audio chart, you would immediately see where uh, those sentences are and you can jump directly to this position without having to watch and listen the entire video for more than one hour. Now, because we have uh, now full control of the video, we can also slow down the video to see every single little detail. So, just give an example here. You can see everything what's going on. You can also speed up the video if you just want to get an overview of what's happening. Now, every um, analysis needs a coding system. So a coding system is something that you can easily uh, define in Intract. A coding system always consists of codes and classes and can be of unlimited complexity and of unlimited hierarchy. This is very important because this allows you to describe anything that you observe in absolute detail. For example, if you just uh, want to analyze uh, speech, then you could uh, define a coding system that has codes for who says what to whom, why, with which intention, what tonality, what sentence structure, and so on. Of course, this goes with any content. For example, with the facial action coding system, which describes the expression of each muscle in the face, due to the intelligent structure of coding systems in Interact, the entire facial action coding system needs only three levels of hierarchy to be fully usable in Interact, which also comes with the examples of a standard Interact installation. Now, once the coding system is defined, our actual coding can begin. So I open the video again here, say so start observation, and I have the coding panel here. Now, during my observation, I need to closely look what's happening in the video. I can type in every single code that I defined. Again, this can be a hierarchical coding system of unlimited complexity. I just want to keep things simple here. Now, Intract is logging those uh, is logging this information as so-called events. Each event has a start time, an end time, and can have an unlimited amount of codes here. I can make a double click, and Interact automatically replays this single fragment over and over again, meaning I can navigate to any position easily with simple a mouse click. You can also use Interact for transcripts. Each um, of those events here has a transcript field where I can enter an unlimited amount of text that now goes with that current event here. Now, as already mentioned, um, the coding can take place 
in whatever speed meaning I can slow down the video here and I can start my observation again and add some more codes. This is very handy because this allows you to completely free, um, freely analyze the video in whatever way you like. You don't need to watch the video from start to end and apply your codes while you uh, watch the video in play forward mode. Now, that's not all. If you want to link additional information to one of the events here, let me go back to this one where we have the text. You can simply do so by um, dragging and dropping your external information onto that field here. And then Interact automatically links this information um, to this current event. And you can also and more like Excel documents, PDF files. Whenever you make a, a click here, then Interact opens up all these external data files that you have now assigned to the current uh, fragment of the video here in the background. Now saying this um, is because you can, you have an unlimited amount of possibilities to add information to each single image of the video. As you can see in this example, Interact always records uh, data in groups and data sets. Here. This is very useful because uh, you can structure your data already during the uh, event logging. For example, use the data sets for different subjects or different test situations in your study. You can even add independent variables to um, further identify each data set. This allows you to select, for example, all female subjects or subject at a certain age or situation with a few mouse clicks uh, for post analysis later. Now, often it's necessary to code a video in several turns with a focus on different aspects. In Interact, this is really easy. Just set the video to the beginning and open a different coding set and start coding again. Now, let me just do that here. Now, uh, let's use this one, for example. Now, I have a different coding system. I can start observation, replay uh, the video now in normal play speed. And I can start adding more information here. In fact, this is a hierarchical coding system, which allows me to uh, do more interesting codings. I just need to switch the coding mode here and start my observation again. And say, for example, now, this is my student number so-and-so, and there are, there are additional information that I logged to that event here. Now another student, and this is additional information that I want to log with this event here. Now this is how you code data in Interact. Let me just open another document here, the full study. As you can see here, I have a group and different data sets. And when I want to do some analysis, I just need to hit this button here. Now I see my entire Cody system and I can select one of the data sets for visualization. This is the so-called um, timeline chart. And from within the timeline chart, we can see now all the different events that we collected here in the background in this data set. They are now visualized here on this chart. This also allows me to do some statistics by just clicking the statistics button here and I get a full report about all the different um, codes that I have assigned here. I get, for example, the frequency, the duration, the minimum, the maximum, percentage over time, and some other measures. 
for this specific data set here. Now, everything you have seen so far is pure basic uh, functionality of Intract. All this was important to have any data that could be used for further evaluations. The actual value of mangled Intract is, however, not the collection of data, which is, of course, a very powerful uh, function of Intract. The value is now to draw information from this data, which can only be detected by pure observation. Now, this is, uh, for example, firstly, the search for simultaneous events or co-occurring codes. If a research question is how often is behavior A and B occurring at the same time, it would be not easy to use this co-occurrence as a code for your observations, simply because that it's very difficult to capture several things at uh, the same time cognitively. The coding of A and B independently is probably much faster and more accurate, because you only need to concentrate on one thing and maybe can run the video even faster when you log events. If you want to see the core occurrences, if you have recorded behavior A and B, you simply go into the core occurrence filter and say, let's say I use this code and that code, I want Intract to find me the core occurrences. And now Intract is coding that information automatically for me and creating new events that I can use for further analysis. This is the same for other functions like, for example, uh, the contingency analysis or the sequence analysis that you get with a um, click of the mouse button here. Now, the data that you have already collected here can also be visualized uh, with other functionalities of Interact. Let me just show you this one here. This is, for example, called the state space grid. And the state space grid is a very nice method of visualizing your data and viewing them from a different uh, point of view because um, you see it's a dyadic visualization of information that allows you to, let me select something different here, that allows you to see, for example, um, what your different data, how your different data is evolving over time. I don't want to go into deep into this because uh, that would take quite a long time. I just want to show you all the possibilities you have. Uh, and sure, you have the possibility of calculating the reliability of your data. Let me just close that one here because I need some other data to show you that. Um, now I have two data files, data file from quarter number one, data file from quarter number two, and I want to know uh, the kappa value here. So I simply push this button. I can set some filters. This is my confusion matrix. On here you see the matches of behavior codings, and here are the mismatches, meaning that my entire kappa is 0 0.66 for those two coders. I can also visualize the differences in this chart. So the red ones show me the mismatches uh, that the two coders made, and the greens are the matches. There's also an interclass correlation coefficient calculation in here that gives you another measure for your rate of reliability. A very nice function of Intract is also that you can um, let me just open that file here that can do text analysis with huge amounts of text here as you can see here. Now if you go to analysis say I want to do analysis on the data sets I want to I have the presidential speeches here for example I select a couple of speeches here for analysis, hit this button, and then I get uh, word frequency statistics here, for example, that I can further analyze and export. Last but not least, I want to mention that Intract has an integrated programming language 
because this is very important because it allows you to create your own import, export, and data analysis routines that then can be uh, used by your entire team just because they are integrated in the Interact standard menu here. And this allows you to tweak Interact to meet your specific project requirements. Now this was just a brief outline of the thousands of possibilities of Interact. I hope you have enjoyed the impressive possibilities of Interact and to see you soon again on one of the other demo videos. Thank you and goodbye.